Welcome to our channel and this week we're going to update you with how we've been getting on with the dogs being pulled behind our bikes in the Burley Coho XC. Um, just to let people know we don't get funding, we've had no contribution from Burley, this is just a, a trailer that we've picked and we haven't tried any other trailer. Um, the Burley Coho XC is manufactured, designed and sold as a cargo trailer. Uh, not for dogs, but because of the single wheel and the suspension and less chance of tipping up, etc., we've decided to give it a go to see if we can tow the dogs on more gravelly off road type of um, conditions. I'll put a description below in the last uh, video that we put out there when we were opening it up and reviewing it. Um, only one point to note we thought the kickstand was a nice gimmicky thing. Actually, it turns out if you stand on um, the foot stand, um, you can you have two hands free to put your dogs in and attach them, um, which is super cool. And I'm not sure other trailers have that. And the harness we've been using is a Herta harness, um, just because it's got quite good padded protection for the dogs, makes them nice and secure. Um, I've added an extra D ring to the front. Uh, so we can attach both ends to keep the dogs in a bit better. So first of all, we'll review Luna, our Hungarian Vizsla, and how she's got on. She is 58 centimetres tall to the shoulder and 58 centimetres long, and she can just about lie down in the trailer. She weighs about 22 kilos, and this is how she got on. Luna, in the car. In. In you get. In your car. Up. In you get. In. In. Stay there. Stay there. No. No. Sit down. Yeah, okay. Stay there. Stay. Girl, stay. Simples look, Zena. Simples. Are you watching? 
You'll go next. Look at Luna in the car. There's Luna. And next up is Zena, our English pointer, who's about 64, 65 centimetres to the shoulder and 64, 65 centimetres lengthways from the shoulder to her back end. And she weighs about 25, 26 kilos, so she's a bit taller and a bit heavier. And this definitely makes a huge difference to being towed behind the bike in the trailer. She is super nervous. She doesn't travel well. Um, so let's see how she got on. To a nature reserve. Should we rock it a bit? Yeah, you're all right with that, hmm? Bit of rocking going on. That's such a good girl. You're such a brave girl. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. That's good. Good girl, Zen Zen. Where's the birdie gone? Where's good the birdie? girl. Where's the birdie? Let's go for a walk. Good girl. <laughs> it's just a trembling wreck. <laughs> just a trembling wreck. Good. Oh, good. Is that you doing it? Is that... That's a bit of both. Is that you, Zen, or is that your dad? Or is that the road? No, no, no. Where's the birdie's gone? Birdie. Where's the birdie? Good girl. That's it. Good one. Another girl? Yeah. Good girl. Yeah, simple. It's her shaking. She's shaking. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. You want to run the biscuit? Where's the birdie gone? I'm going to get in there to one more. Should I try riding or not? No, I think you should for just, today. Just do this. Yeah. Yeah, see, good girl. She go for you know, She gets cold. I don't think it's just for you. No, I think, it, I think it's cold. Yeah. There, stay, good girl. You have to stay quite close. Yeah, I will do. To catch her if she yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Stay, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Zena. Good girl. She'd look. Stay there, stay. Stay there. Stay. No. Stay. Yeah, good girl. Stay there now. Good clever. Good girl. Good. Good. Stay there. Stay.
So as you can see, Luna is doing really well in the trailer behind us and we're going to continue with her. Um, she doesn't throw the bike's back end out much, she's quite happy being in there, being pulled along. However, blinking cars. However, the English Pointer has not adapted well. Um, we think she's too heavy and too tall. I'm too nervous to go be pulled behind in a single wheel. Uh, she does throw the bike off a lot and it's scary. And as you can see, she attempted to jump, or she did jump out even though she was attached, both front and back. So it's back to the drawing board for her, which is a bit annoying. But we've come up with a solution which we will be sharing with you hopefully soon. So yes, if your dog's a bit smaller, doesn't weigh too much, I was quite happy uh, travelling anyway, not too nervous, it's an option. You might have to adapt it slightly, but it's an option. Well, we're still super impressed with the Birdie Coho, just unfortunately it's not suitable for one of our dogs. Anyway, hopefully see you next time, please like, subscribe and comment below. As you can see, uh, we've gone to plan B. Uh, Zen is not very good in a trailer. She's not very good in a two-wheel trailer. She's just not very good in a trailer. Uh, we are going to be modifying the burly tail wagon, uh, adding suspension, so hopefully it won't tip up as much and is a bit more comfy for her. I'm really impressed with the burly coho, the cargo trailer. The burly tail wagon, 